Beijing Biden or China Joe, frankly, I haven't decided which one I like more. Who the hell are you? You have broken the YouTube community guidelines. What? What guidelines? You have broken the YouTube community guidelines. Which ones? You have broken the YouTube community guidelines. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I haven't broken any guidelines. I know I haven't. Which guideline? Which guideline? You have broken the YouTube community guidelines. My dearest Gwendolyn, I have lost count of how many a night I have spent in YouTube jail. I only hope justice will prevail and I will be free one day. I have come to realize my mistakes. Freedom of thought is wrong. If I never see you again, please know I will forever love you. P.S. You have my blessing to remarry. Just don't choose another ginger. I shall not break the YouTube community guidelines. I shall not break the YouTube community guidelines. I shall not break the YouTube community guidelines. Freedom of thought is dangerous. Freedom of thought is terrorism. Big government and big tech know what's best for me. It's been a long week, ladies and gentlemen, but in the words of the great rapper T.I., I'm back. For a week, I couldn't post any videos. A week! And why? Because YouTube decided to censor me for nonsensical reasons. And we're gonna get into them in this video. But first, I gotta change out of this prison AIDS shirt. Give me a sec. So, ladies and gentlemen, literally, welcome to my channel, Dashboard. So you can see 251 subscribers. Slow, but steady. Nice. I'll take it. What I will show you here, up to the left, channel violations. <gasps> what could it be? Let's see. At the time of this recording, this is still active for a couple of hours. But before I show you this one, this is what got me banned for a week, I want to show you this because I want to show you how ridiculous and preposterous YouTube's community guidelines are. On September 1st, I got a warning, not a strike, a warning because you always get a warning first. On the video titled, Man Takes His Own Life, BLM Blames Police and Riots. The policy I violated was self-harm. Of course, as you can see here, I appealed and it was rejected. YouTube claimed that by making a video on a man who went to sleep forever by his own hand, I was promoting self-harm. And to add insult to, inf to injury, they sent me an email. What was in the email? A suicide hotline. Here at the YouTube community, we care about your well-being. Sick. Ridiculous. Appeal rejected because it was obviously not a real person who did it. And I thought, hmm, interesting. But I'm going to show you what I learned. Now, here's my strike. So it's fe February 7th. The title, I'm not going to say these words because I think these are the words that got me banned. Stop the word word ends with four dead, three IEDs found, and whatever, whatever. 
The policy I violated, spam, deceptive practices, and scams. I can't show it to you because I can't scroll right now because you can see my face, but under my face, you see that I appealed. And of course, it got rejected. Okay, here's what I want to show you. Here's why I violate the policy, the policy. On December 9th, we started applying our presidential election integrity policy to the 2020 U.S. presidential election, meaning we remove content that misleads people by alleging that widespread fraud or errors changed the outcome of the 2020 U.S. presidential election. Okay, great. I didn't talk about that. I didn't talk about that at all. I just said the word word rally turned into a riot. Four people died, three IEDs were found. I talked about the chaos. I talked about the January 6th riots. Because, but because I had those words in the title, the machine took it down. And this is partly my fault. Because a couple of weeks ago, I saw that Facebook was purging all content that had the words. I'll say it. I'll be, stop the rhymes with the eel. Right? The fish. Aquatic creature. Eel. Stop the eel. The aquatic creature. Stop eels. Okay? Stop the eel was being banned from Facebook. All the content was being taken away. And I thought, hmm, that's just Facebook. It's not going to happen here on YouTube because I'm an idiot. It happened on YouTube. I got a strike a month later after the video that I made a month prior for these ridiculous reasons. So what do we learn here? Well, first, you know, for sp not even close. These people are crazy with censorship. But second, and this is kind of important, I think that the title is super important. If you don't want to get banned... I think that whatever you put in, just be careful what you put in the title. And I think you're 90% clear. I think the machine just looks at the title. But, you know, those are my two cents. So what have I been doing while I was banned? The same thing. I recorded about three or four videos. I put them up on BitChute. And I'm going to put them up on, you know, YouTube this week. I don't know how relevant they're going to be considering I do current events. But whatever. I made them. They're going up. I got to start being more careful now with the titles I put. If you watch this video and you make YouTube videos, be careful with the titles you put. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. It helps. And your boy needs it because YouTube coming out for me. Thank you for watching again. See you next time.